we completed our 18 day trip to New Zealand. In this video, I will walk you through our experience on Tongariro Alpine Crossing. This is a popular tramping trek of 19.4 km and one of the best top 10 single day treks in the world. Before the trip, we stayed in a small cabin near National Park, which is around 20 minute drive from Tongario Base Camp. We left around 5.50 am in the morning to go to base camp and join the shuttle service. You can drive to this base camp in the morning and park your vehicle there safely for the day while you do the Tongario Alpine Crossing. You can leave your vehicle at the Tongario Base Camp and also hire tricky balls, jackets if you start early in the morning. It will cost around $35 per person to book a shuttle service. Tongario Alpine Crossing is not a round trip. The shuttle service will pick you from where you finish the track and return to Tongario Base Camp where your vehicle is parked. It is highly recommended to not to park your private vehicles at the start or end of the track. There are toilets every one to two hours along the track. Make sure to have plenty of water and food. This will be seven to eight hours for an average person. You don't have to be an experienced hiker to complete this hike in the summer months. But in the winter it can be more challenging. We did our hike on January 2019 during summer and it is busy during summer months. Tongario Alpine Crossing can be dangerous if you are not prepared. Weather is unpredictable. It can go low as 10 to 12 Celsius when you reach the top during summer. I would recommend to use waterproof and windproof raincoats and sturdy boots due to uneven surface. There are some steep sections as you reach the top. The first 4 to 5 km is easy but then you will have a lot of steps and steep sections. It is common to experience very strong wind, cold temperature and poor visibility. The Tongariro National Park is an active volcanic area. The most recent eruption occurred from Timari in 2012. Eruptions can happen with a little or no warnings. There are monitoring and warning systems in place to lower the risk. But you are responsible for deciding the level of risk that is acceptable to you and planning your visit accordingly. These areas are sacred for Maori people. So it is your responsibility to respect that and keep the track clean. There's a lot to see, lots of elevation with lots of unique sceneries you will ever see. If you have plans to do Tongariro Alpine Crossing, definitely be prepared.